f of x is a continuous function. If f of negative two equals four, and f prime of x is greater than or equal to 2.5, for all values of x in the closed interval from negative two to positive five, what is the smallest possible value of f of five? Remember the derivative function value indicates the instantaneous rate of change of f of x at a particular value of x. So if we're looking for the smallest possible value of f of five, which is the right endpoint of this closed interval, this would occur if we have the smallest possible derivative function value over the interval. And therefore, let's assume f prime of x equals 2.5. If f prime of x equals 2.5 over the closed interval from negative two to positive five, this indicates the slope of the tangent line is always 2.5 over the closed interval, and therefore f of x would also have to be a line with a slope of 2.5 over this closed interval. And remember, slope is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x, which in our case would always be 2.5 over one. We also know f of negative two is equal to four, which indicates the point at negative two comma four is a point on the graph of f of x. So let's go ahead and plot that point on the coordinate plane. Negative two comma four is here. And again, the important thing to recognize here is if we assume that f prime of x equals 2.5 over this entire closed interval, not only is this the slope of the tangent line, but the graph of f of x would also have to be a line with a slope of 2.5. For the next step, let's determine the change in x over the closed interval. Well, if x is greater than or equal to negative two and less than or equal to positive five, then delta x, the change in x, is equal to five minus negative two, which is equal to positive seven. Notice x increases by seven from negative two to positive five. And now going back to our slope, a slope of 2.5 over one indicates y or the function value increases by 2.5 each time x increases by one. But we know delta x is equal to seven, so to create an equivalent slope where the change of x is seven, we multiply the numerator and denominator by seven. And notice how this gives us the equivalent slope of 2.5 times seven is 17.5, and of course one times seven is seven. This equivalent slope indicates that y or the function value increases by 17.5 each time x increases by seven. And now going back over to the coordinate plane, if x increases by seven, we would have negative two plus seven or positive five. And if y increases by 17.5, four plus 17.5 is 21.5, giving us the point five comma 21.5, which would be this point here. And once again, if the derivative function value is always 2.5 over this closed interval, not only is 2.5 the slope of any tangent line in the interval, but the graph of the function would also have to be a line with a slope of 2.5, meaning the graph of f of x over the closed interval from negative two to positive five would be the line segment where these are the endpoints. Not only that, the point five comma 21.5 tells us that f of five is equal to 21.5. And this would be the smallest possible or least possible value of f of five, given that we use the least possible derivative function value of 2.5. So now we know the least possible value of f of five is 21.5. I hope you found this helpful.